I think my blush is a little bit too much, but they see me rolling. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to, I mean I am going to show you about my empties. I mean the product that I've used up along last year and also the first part of this year. How is that sound? I have this um, one bag of potato set. Oh my, oh my. Okay, and um, this is the duster that I just put it here. So these are all the products that I have used up. Um, I'm quite slow on using up products, so that's why you couldn't see that many. My cat is playing the string now. I know I've reviewed a lot of product, especially skincare product on my channel, but I didn't have any video. Sorry, there are dust everywhere. But there isn't a video that follow up the afterthought of using it continuously. I thought this video would be a good start. And there were actually quite a lot of product that I have reviewed and I ended up using them. So the first one is the um, Half Moon Eyes Milky Jelly Toning Essence. I know I have reviewed this one on my channel. I ended up really liking it in the chat uh, in the review. I really like it um, after using all of it, like literally all of it. I think it can be quite um, tingling. A part of it smells really nice. Um, I didn't notice a huge like before and after difference. It's just a regular toner that I use daily that you know it's just a regular skincare stuff and I will repurchase it again. The next one I just finished using this a few weeks ago. This is the Petite Fee Gold EGF Eye and Spot Patch. Honestly I spent quite a long time using this up because I don't firstly I don't really use it. It's just something that I thought is necessary in my skincare routine but after I bought it and use it and I realized it, it's just something that extra that you have to pay extra pay extra attention to use it. It's actually just a gel, a lot of gel patches in like for under eye and spot. The one that I really use is the eye patch but not so much on the spot patch. I ended up using it as my under eye patches as well which is it's not a good fit. Yeah, I didn't notice any dramatic changes to my skin when I have really dry entire under eyes it does moisturize a little bit and another thing is the scent is a little bit strong especially for under eye product like if you put it too close near to your eyeballs it will hurt your eyeballs i wouldn't repurchase this one because it's just unnecessary in my skincare routine time for some mask oh mask shit actually there are a lot of masks a lot of masks that I've used um, throughout the years but I only save this this type of mask because these are my favorite type of mask. They are from Taiwan so you can get it from some Taiwanese store or like a store that sells Taiwan, uh, Taiwanese product. And these are my favorite type of mask including the other one um, the other one which oh, especially this one this is the Pearl Bali and Milk Smoothing Mask Sheet. They are super thin, the, the mask sheet. It's so thin that they need to use like double layer to hold the mask up. Very soft is and they all smell so nice. Especially for their yeah, brightening mask. I did notice like a difference before and after. My favorite mask, hands down. Uh, my ne next product is the Sephora Micellar Cleansing Water. I kind of use it as a, a makeup remover. It does work quite well. The scent is quite strong, especially when I want it to remove my eye makeup, placing it like close to your eyes. Other than that, it's, it's a good makeup remover. It's quite good. Just the scent is something that... Uh, yeah. The next one is from the Fast Shop Oil Clear Blotting Powder. I really love this. This is the first makeup product that I have 
I will use up. It's just a loose powder that sets your face and it controls oils. Yeah, overall, it's just a great product. Okay, this one I just used up yesterday. This is the Body Shop um, Chinese Ginseng and Rice. It's a toner. It smells quite nice, but the scent is a little bit too strong for a toner. Secondly, it's not gentle on the skin, meaning that if you apply it on the skin and if you if your skin has scars, it will burn your face. So you have to be very careful applying this. I don't recommend it for sensitive skin, but you can still try it because it's... The next one is this from Green Tea, uh, from Green Tea, from Innisfree Green Tea Cleansing Foam. I reviewed about this. My opinion on this, I think is like, um, I'm okay with it. Like, there is nothing, nothing that I am against. After I have used other facial cleanser product, I noticed that the foam is a little bit too bubbly, too much. It's easily get into your eyes. It cleans your face, but it's also a little bit drying. Other than that, honestly, I didn't notice any thing special about it. It just cleans your skin. Another facial cleanser. I also just used this up yesterday. This is the Aquatop Perfect Clean Cleansing Foam in Black Bean. I reviewed about this also. I think in my video, I just really liking it because of like the stickiness and it's a good cleanser don't get me wrong it's a good it is a good cleanser it cleans your skin and the foam is just the right up she didn't like me for saying that i don't like her it lasts a long time after using it i just noticed that the stickiness of the cleanser doesn't really do much it's just a regular cleanser for something that i really like this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I think I bought this one two years ago and I ended up using other product because this is the one that I spent my own money on it so I want to like save it a little bit longer. And I really really love this product and I would 100% repurchase it. It's just an average moisturizer but it's really good at being just a regular moisturizer. It moisturizes your face, it's not oily and it just set on your skin and absorb quickly into your skin and it's just everything nice for a moisturizer, for a regular moisturizer. My next product is the simple Kai to Skin Smoothing Facial Scrub. I use the whole tip of this. Mm. Mm. Okay, apparently, I didn't use up the whole tube of this. The scent is not something that everyone can accept. It's just a really weird scent. Like, non-chemically, but it's just a really weird, unfiltered scent. And I can feel the rice granules is a little bit too much on my skin. Because they are quite big and you can feel it going against your skin. So it's not something that I'm a fan of, but from what they promote, like a simple skincare without fragrance and stuff, I am supporting this brand, but just not for this product right here. Okay, we are almost done here. My next product is the Tony Molly Wonder Cheese Firming Cream. <laughs> there are a story behind this. I was on Facebook and I saw a commercial about this particular um, body body cream, body lotion and I am like, I want that product because they make it look like it's so delicious like it's cheese flavored and it's like creamy and stuff I'm like, I want that product and a year after I saw it in store and I bought it with my own money and I was a little bit disappointed because it does not smell like cheese at all. It smells like this yogurt, vanilla yogurt scent, which I'm okay with it, but the thing that I'm not okay with is just they promote it as a cheese, a, a tub of cheese flavored cream. I mean, they didn't actually say it's cheese flavored, but it says cheese right here, so you have to smell like cheese. It, it's no, okay, okay, I'm okay. Other than that, it's a nice body cream. Um, I do think that the cream, the texture is a little bit too thick for my liking. And it's quite 
hard to blend to blend it evenly. And the next thing is the Mario Badescu skincare uh, I mean facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I really really love this. I use it to set my makeup. Well I can't say it makes my makeup last well but it sets my makeup to make it look more natural and like sink into my skin. I really love it and it smells nice. Um the scent is not too strong, it's very mild, it's very gentle. I really love it. Really love it. This is my I think this is my the first bottle that I used up and I'm currently on my third bottle and my friend that's the end of everything. You can see it's clear here and it's very dusty. So this is all from today's video. I hope you enjoy this and I will see you next time. Bye.